sweetheart, look at me. You've been tossing and churning so much. Can you take a deep breath for me? And... And out. That's it. Lovely little human. Don't worry. If even the slightest danger lurked in this place, I would shelter you with my very life. No one here would dare to even envision harming you. Do you remember your name? Good. That's a start. And my name. What about where you are right now? No to either of those then. That's all right. I'll tell you everything. As often as you require to feel safe. My name is Orion, and you are in Monglov, city of the Midnight Elves. You fell into the grasp of foul trolls I don't know how long ago. But the way they treated you, taking out their hatred of humans on your helpless body, It's a miracle that you still clung to life. A scouting party clearing out the troll's den found you and brought you back to the city to be cared for. <sighs> Needless to say, everyone's quite taken with you. Between how brave you've been about your ordeal and your determination to help us ferret out information on where the trolls are hiding. I'll admit to a fondness for humans, but you in particular are utterly adorable. <laughs> anyway, I have the honor of guarding you through the night. If you awaken and sense trolls glaring at you from the darkness, or if your wounds pain you under the bandages, call for you, Orion, and I shall fly to your side in an instant. I happen to be quite the accomplished healer. <sighs> Are you still taking deep breaths, little human? Good. You poor, sweet thing. You've had such a hard night. Is it alright if I climb into bed with you? No, uh... You don't need to move over, I'll just... Uh, is that comfortable? I don't want to put any pressure on your injuries. We Midnight Elves have excellent dark vision. Even without a and prick of light. I can recognize everything about you. Your eyes, the curve of your lips. If your human eyes could pierce the shadows, you would catch sight of my magic. Looks like shimmering gray smoke seeping through the blankets, winding around your body, forming a web of healing and protection, cradling you as you rest. You have quite the 
busy day planned for you tomorrow. A visit to the lake to observe the gliding swans. A trip down the mountain to the great elven library. A tea party with some of the nobility. <sighs> but for the moment, all you have to do is breathe and lie still, my delicate little human. And you are accomplishing that task admirably. <sighs> you need not fret. I've got you. I'm here. I wish all your suffering could have ended the moment our scouts carried you from the troll's den. That bathing in the hot springs and the secret mountain passages could have washed away your agony and determined the way it swept the grim from your body. But you're still so weak, so frightened, utterly adrift in your feverish nightmares. I wish my magic could reach into your mind and whisk away every lingering image contributing to your fears. All I can do is rest beside you and try to soothe you with mere words. You've been such an obedient little one for me, lying nice and still and taking deep breaths. You are so very good. And I shall try to do my best as well. Can you do something for me? It's quite alright if you can't manage it. I know you're exhausted. But the next time, the past sneaks up on you. Pulling you into the slimy caverns of those disgusting trolls, making you gasp and writhe in your sick bed. Try to breathe. Try to imagine something as beautiful as you deserve. Perhaps something you've grown to adore here in Monglove. The swans gliding over the lake at sunset. Or the way the sunlight falls through the prism in your window and paints a rainbow on the floor. Even something simple like the breakfast banquet or your favorite armchair. <sighs> you don't have to do that for me if you don't want to. But I am driven to admit I don't like seeing you suffer. I hope you don't want to suffer either. Even though not everyone who was confined with you in captivity could flee to safety. That's all the more reason for you to enjoy the shining stars and clean mountain air. You deserve to be absolutely cocooned in happiness. <sighs> My brave little human, surviving for so long, but I am here now, you are under my care, and you are so very exquisite, had us the greatest sorrow of my existence. I must hand you to the day shift come the rays of dawn. Until then, you need not trouble yourself with anything besides getting comfortable and breathing for me. Absolutely perfect. Just like that.